All right, so let's start talking about solids. So think back to Chem 101. In a solid, what we have are molecules vibrating in place. So the main thing about solids is that the molecules cannot move from place to place. They are stuck where they're at. And so there's two main types of solid. There's crystalline solids, and then there's amorphous solids. So in crystalline solids, as the name suggests, the atoms are in, a, in an ordered repeating pattern. So one section of the solid looks just like another section of the solid uh, molecularly anyway. So draw something, you know, draw it nice and repeating. So we have little five circles as our little molecules. Not the best drawing ever, but uh, overall nice and repeating. Amorphous, A means without morph is shape. So without shape. So this has no order. And so uh, glasses, glasses, is an amorphous solid. So in this case, the molecules, while they can't vibrate in place, they're not in a nice ordered structure. So how on the left, we have this kind of line by line. In this one, the solids are just kind of randomly all over the place and different parts of the solids look different than other parts. So here's a picture of that, right? On the crystalline, you see it's nice and ordered. On the amorphous, it is, uh, it has no order. And so Chris, Solids in general um, can have a lot of defects in them. So it's important to know about these defects because they affect the properties of the solids. Um, so these are known as defects or impurities. I spent a good bit of my PhD work studying um, the effects of some impurities in some crystalline solids. So let's draw a little crystalline solid and we'll identify some defects, right? So um, start off with this thing right over here, you see that we have nice ordered kind of five circles in a row and then we're missing this, we're missing a piece. This is called a vacancy because you have a vacant spot where something is supposed to go, right? And then over here, we have this little star thing. This is what's known as an interstitial impurity or an interstitial defect. And so this defect, it's something that's not supposed to be there, but it's in between the sites of uh, where your solid is occupying, right? So there's, not, there's supposed to be nothing there, but there is something there. And then finally, we have this square here. This is what's known as a substitutional uh, defect or impurity. And so, right, a circle is supposed to be there, but instead a square is. So this picture shows the same thing. Ah. So know the difference between crystalline and amorphous solids and be able to identify the different types of impurities.